Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Bastion. Uh uh. Oh. Um, sure. It'll deal extra damage and has a wider spread. Ever felt a soul wood gourd? Like picking up broken glass barehanded. At Zolwood Grove, marshals learn to make every shot count. The trick was to pop all those nasty gourds without wasting ammo. Most marshals didn't get far on their first few tries. a bunch of those gourds in a single shot. Funny thing about muskets is they work best up close. It took a keen eye, not an itchy trigger finger. Oh, I... Oh, I, I thought I only got the, the second one. Kid takes a little personal time for just him and his favorite musket. You say favorite musket, but there's really only one musket choice. <coughs> Plenty of gourds to go around. Even now. Marshals like to fine tune their muskets to get better results. The best of the best clear the course in just a few shots. Sweet! Kid probably could have made himself marshal one day. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> there you go. Um, cool. But let's see. Oh, I have to do that. All right. Um, Scrap cell, though, a relentless series of blasts that overcompensates for the musket's slow fire rate. Only once did the marshals resort to this technique during the days of the war. Okay, final warning. Not effective as a warning, but very effective otherwise. <laughs> I, I like that. That would actually be the, the thing I'd want with it. This is nice, but you want a more effective range with a shotgun. For right now, though... <clears throat> proving grounds with the hammer. The city's unwanted things all met their end in the yard. Folks who fouled up would do their time here, smashing things to bits. The quicker they worked, the sooner they could go. Folks learned to plant their feet and put their backs into it. Others would plot a course to navigate that sea of junk. Oh, 
Okay. I know what I have to do now. Had to work real fast for the finest prize. Okay. The kid pays another visit to the scrapyard for old time's sake. That was a sore back. Some folks invested their earnings to forge even better hammers. Better spend money to make money in most societies. A good day smashing to feed a family for a week. Okay, so 27 seconds. Um, I'll come back after I've upgraded the hammer a little bit. Ever want to just smash things for a while? You know where to go. Yep. Yeah, it, it would be that. Alright, let's let's take a look. Draw speed, cool. Per shot, that's not bad. And they don't show me the rest. Fine, fine. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. A certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Whew. Weep Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They try to cut her off. <clears throat> they try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Well, Weeping Nelly tries harder. Try as she might though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors.
she picked a good spot for a break, cause the core is right there. Gifts keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. The windbags get an even better idea. They aim to smash with the Nelly splinters. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. She's just got to make one last stop. With her last breath, God damn Nelly it. gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground in the Picker country. They want that core real bad. Seems a calamity ain't hurt the Pecker's appetites. Kid shoes him off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times Kid nearly fell off the bar back there? A good couple of times. Listen close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Wait, what? Used to take an enterprising man or plain old fool to venture out that far. Huh. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? There the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? Gotta hear. Yeah, that's the one. What the? 
Fuck you. Whatever. Yeah, let's have the flying enemy drop shit. That that makes sense. Really don't like those birds. Now. Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done, 
There was one last core to find. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But I'll leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Girl tried to run away from home one time. But the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I've leveled up enough. Yeah. Give it a shot. I I like the the serrated edge too much, but yeah. Later. No. No. All right. surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Behold the Pantheon. A Kobe. Piv. Only 15%? That reminds me of the hard mode of frickin' Bug Fable. Oh man, everything is so much harder. Da 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 da. Oh, cool. How much experience do I get out of it? 0.12% more. Are you fucking kidding me? if there's a training thing. We track the final core beyond the city to the wilds. No, I'm actually not trying. Because doing this causes it to save. There. All that shit we did, still there. So I will catch you all in the next episode. Until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha.